Today I'm going to share with you some of the YouTube channels that I've been watching recently and I uh, thought maybe you might like to watch them too if you don't already. So um, I've put the channels, they're on my home page of uh, my YouTube channel down, you know, it's got like all the playlists and stuff and then down at the bottom you, it has that space for featured channels. So I've added those to my featured channels. You can also find them if you come over here to the channel tab. It'll show you who I'm subscribed to and then here's the channels that I'm watching right now. Click on that and I think I've chosen about 13 channels to shout out this time. I'll provide links for all of these down in my video description too so you can just visit them in whichever way is easiest for you. So, let's get started. First of all, I have Sonia over at Artsy Solutions. And let's check out Sonia's channel. She I, I discovered, I discovered Sonia. I met Sonia's channel through a the video hop that I recently did with PM Artist Studio. She was one of the hoppers and I really loved her project. So I came over and watched a few more of her videos and she does um, mixed media, junk journal, she has journal with me videos, um, she has flip throughs, she has different ideas. Um, techniques, things that you can do. She just has all kinds of good stuff going on at her channel. And I enjoy listening to her very much. So I do recommend that you pop on over there and check out what Sonya's got going on. Next up, I should have opened all these in a new tab to begin with. Like before I started filming, wouldn't that have been efficient and awesome? I didn't do it. Okay, this is Tattered Edges Design over here. I'm reading from my notes. <laughs> I think I just outed myself. Yeah, I have notes. Because <laughs> some of these folks, I know their names. Some I don't. And so if I knew it, I wanted to write it down. Okay, this is Diane. And Diane has all kinds of stuff happening. I like watching her uh, glue book sessions. She does kind of en masse style glue booking, and then she has, you know, just different tips and techniques and uh, process videos. And what this caught my eye the other day, she started talking about this magazine journal that, that's made out of a folded magazine. And that just kind of sucked me down a rabbit hole. I think I've got two or three other people who have also done this that... Um, I found because of Diane's video here. So yeah, she kind of introduced me to some other channels. So check out Diane's channel. And next we have Moss Cottage. Oh yes, I think she did, um, is her name Helen? I'm going to check my notes here. Yes, Helen, look at me remembering. Okay, I think she did one of the other, um, that similar magazine journal easy altered magazine yeah so I went over because um, Diane linked to her channel so I went over and checked hers out and then you know again I just started watching several of her other videos she has lots of interesting stuff going on I really enjoyed her prayer book flip through she has different types of journals she has I watched her how she harvests magazine images she's got some haul videos some homesteading stuff so, yeah, she's got all kinds of stuff going on. So, go say hey to Helen. And then Janet Nash. I love listening to her accent. There's several people here that have just got different accents that I enjoy listening to. I don't even care what they do. <laughs> they can just sit there and read the phone book to me, and I'm perfectly happy. <laughs> But yeah, Janet has a fabulous, she does all kinds of stuff, all different stuff with papers and fabrics, and um, she has uh, very much kind of a mixed media style. So yes, I do recommend you check out Janet. You're going to find something on her channel that is going to appeal to you because she has lots. 
Okay, Creativity Inc. This is Diana, and I love, love, love her videos. These are, these are not like everyone else's videos out there. Hers are way different, outside the box. This woman, she can take like stuff, objects like right here, the camera junk journal. No, it's not a junk journal with a camera theme. Like she took an actual camera and she made a junk journal out of it. This is what she does. She's very, um, her projects are a lot of just um, almost assemblage. She just does a lot of construction stuff. Her studio is fabulous. And yeah, she just, every idea she has is totally cool, amazing, and unlike anything that you've ever seen before. And I can't even pin down a style that she has. She's not like a mixed media style or a vintage style. She's just all over the place, and I love that about her. So go check out Diana over at Creativity Inc. And next we have 507... Willow House Journals, and this, oh, is her name Leslie? I think her name is Leslie. Like, I just discovered her channel, or, you know, found her channel, or whatever. <laughs> I keep, it's not like I discovered them. I'm not saying that. Like, they popped up. They, they came into the know for me just a few days ago. So I've watched a few of her, chan of her videos, and I really like them. She has a very... Um, she does that the pretty this is like just what I call it in my head a pretty vintage style whether it's her you know her junk journals or making stuff for the junk journals or her embellishments they're just really they're very beautiful and she does all kinds of different videos you know whether it's just kind of a um, you know working a process video or if she's making a little something I just love watching her and her accent Oh my gosh, it is fabulous. Just 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 hearing her speak makes me happy. Okay, AJ's Inspired Life. This is Allison. She has good process videos. Um, she has just a very much kind of a mixed media junk journal-y style that I really I really, really love to watch. I like her journal with me or her junk journal with me videos. So go check out Allison. Next is Kathy's Garden. And this is Kathy. And okay, I think Kathy is the one who had the first, you know, that magazine um, journal that, that everyone was making out of the, um, you know, folding the magazine pages like I showed you. I think she was the first one that they were linking to. And it was like months ago. I don't even know how long ago. She puts out so much content <laughs> that it's hard to find. She has got tons of stuff to go through. And it's all good. And she's got a... Um, Oh, kind of a, I'm trying to think of what her style would be. I would call it, it's another kind of pretty vintage slash mixed media kind of style in my mind. Just really, it's versatile. I mean, just pretty much whatever your style is, her stuff and, and her um, techniques that she shows, they're going to fit. So, yeah, there's, there's good stuff to be seen on Kathy's page. And the next one, this is another one that was brand spanking new to me. This is Margaret on Seven Plaza. And I'm pretty sure that she, um, one of her videos was like a recommended video for me. Because I've not seen her channel before. And it was, it was these, the labels that she makes. And she has a couple of videos on just making these simple labels out of, sort of your um, junk journal fodder that you have laying around or whatever. And she's does, she has a really good um, uh, vintage style that I like and lots and lots of good tips and techniques and ideas. And, and um, uh, what am I trying to say? Embellishments and um, 
just different ideas for your journals. So, yes, you will definitely want to go visit Margaret at Seven Plaza. She has an awesome accent, too. Shawcraft One. This is Diane at um, Shawcraft One. We are heavy on the Dianes and Dianas today. <laughs> I think there's probably three or four of the Diane Diana variation. <laughs> so, yeah, it's almost a theme. I should have just done a whole you know, shout out video for Dianes and Dianas. So this particular Diane, I'm trying to remember what popped up that made me, that brought me to her channel. I can't remember what it was. It was great, whatever it was. She's got kind of a pretty slash vintage style, which is, you know, a lot, because like I said, it's really versatile. It's going to kind of work for all of us. She makes some of her own um, ephemera, and she has uh, different types of journals that she makes. So, yeah, you are definitely going to want to go visit Diane and just set a while because you're going to want to hear her accent, too. Okay, and this one, I feel like probably everyone knows about um, 1134 press or is it 1134 see I don't even know I feel like everybody but me has been watching this channel because now that I've I've seen and this is Brie her name is Brie and now that I've seen some of her videos um it's like every other channel I run into someone is talking about her I, seriously so I think um I'm late to the party on this one <laughs> but totally glad that um I found her she has also, there's just something really comforting about her voice and her presence. I just enjoy watching Brie. She's just beautiful to look at and to listen to. She does a lot of junk journaling, and I, I like hearing her thoughts on junk journals and the process and things that she's, that she's learned and, and, and ways that she's changed and evolved. Um, I'm just super enjoying her channel. She, her style is like very, um, it's, it's hard to pin down. It's very clean, not necessarily minimalistic, maybe a little bit, but she just has this clean style that I really like. You know, her junk journals, they don't look anything like mine, but they're sometimes what I wish mine looked like. <laughs> and I love listening to her talk about why she changed from, bullet journaling to junk journaling because I'm right there with her on that. So y'all are going to want to gonna wanna watch Brie. Louisa Heinzel. Okay, it's, and I've been watching her for a little while, but, and I feel like everyone else is too, but just in case, just in case there's someone out there who um, is not watching Louisa Heinzel's videos you're you're going to want to do that she has another another awesome accent i think where is she from austria maybe something like that she does videos in two languages this is the kind of rock star she is i mean i could barely eke one out in my own native tongue and <laughs> she does them in two languages and her style i would say is very mixed media um, you know, she does a little, a little vintage, um, throws that in there too, but she is just really good at just full on mixed media, um, kind of a feast for the eyes type style. So yes, if, if you're not already tuned in to Louisa Heinzel, you are really missing out and, and you don't want to be missing out because... I feel like I've was I've really been missing out on a lot of these that everyone knew about but me. Uh, okay, some point, Carrie Griffiths, and this is what does he call himself? I think Carrie the Crafter. And I found him. Where did I find him? Okay, um, I think it was on the um, PM Artist Studios. Uh, their Facebook group, maybe in there. And so I went and checked out his channel, and he does some fabulous stuff. He does some gel printing. He's got a colorful mixed media style. 
um, kind of uh, really painty, you know, that kind of painty thing that I like, like painty backgrounds and stuff. Oh my gosh, he just does those really, really well. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see lots of color going on and uh, tips and techniques and process videos and how to, all, all kinds of stuff over here on Carrie's channel. So yeah, I hope that if you if you don't already know Carrie, that you will get to know him. And I think that is all I've got for today. So thank you all so much for watching and listening. And I hope you'll visit some of, the cha of these channels if um, you don't already. And I will see you next time. The end. Today I'm going <coughs> to clear my throat. <laughs> first of all, first of all, how do I turn this thing off? Uh, that, well, that wasn't it. <laughs>